Good evening everyone, welcome to another room tour here on the Royal Coasters. I'm being extremely quiet at the moment because it's 11 o'clock at night. Myself and Louise have just travelled from Movie Park Germany all the way to Hyde Park and uh, because of the traffic we've arrived really late. We're going to do a room tour of our room to show you what it's like. So anyway, we are in room 119 which is a pirate themed room. Um, it's on the first level. Just to show you the corridors first, very nicely themed. I'm loving this. Big old door. And the first thing you'll notice when you come into these rooms is how big they are. Like these are absolutely massive. Let me just close the door behind us. Right, so looking over to our left to start, we have a mirror down here with a little chair. And this is where in a normal hotel, this would just be a wall. There's an adjoining door for next door. Someone with hanging coats on, which is pretty nice. We've got a big old wardrobe here with a safe inside and uh, plenty of places to put stuff. We've got some hangers in there as well. Then we're going to have a look off to the bathroom now. So this is a beautifully themed bathroom. We have the toilet down here with a flush that's off to the side. That's a little bit strange, but it's very nice. Loving all the detail here, like the, the sink is a stone, all our towels, a bin, hair dryer, soaps are included. The shower is this amazing themed barrel, I love this, and uh, it's like a rainfall head on there, it'd be exciting to use that later, and there's a little shower there, that'd be nice to use, we're using that very soon. Moving on out of the bathroom, we're going into the main chamber, um, I, I wanted to film this before we actually unpacked and got stuff everywhere, so I'm sorry if there's bags everywhere, because we literally just turned up. Uh, we have an area to store your bags. There's also a little ch uh, chair down there by the looks of it that you can put stuff on. Put my suitcase on there. We then have um, a table with a desk. We've got a Hyde Park uh, little notepad there. That's pretty cool. Nice. Uh, vanity set. And what's this down here? So, um, okay, so if we get if we don't do room cleaning or room service, we get a little surprise. We hang this up on the door. And I imagine we'll end up with some chocolate or something in the um, bag. We then have a TV on the wall, a fan down here with a nice lamp. Um, we've got the uh, chair here, a barrel which, um, yeah, this this isn't. I, you can you can roll this barrel around the room if you really want to. It doesn't serve any purpose other than theming. The bed is a large. Um, double would say it's king size, but it's two single mattresses together. This seems to be the common. Uh, thing on the continent that they like to do where it's two single beds, two separate duvets. Uh, they do only include one pillow and I haven't seen the second pillow but because we're not using the bunk beds we will steal the pillows off of there. Speaking of which the bunk beds are uh, I'd probably say that yeah they are full size beds they're the same length as the adult beds here so if you have four adults you could fit them into a room and I mean the lower bunk isn't that low down so um, you could quite happily fit an adult in there I think. Uh, when it comes to bed comfort, it's a memory foam mattress, so again, nice and comfortable. It's nice to see that on the bed we have a gold coin on each pillow, including the bunk beds. Um, so that would be chocolate coin, and also this little book here, which is like a little adventure book that tells you all about the uh, hotel and the park for the kids. Um, and it basically says, like, your day almost, a bit like what Chessington did with the map. And, uh, yeah, the, there's the... Colossus, um, can't wait to get on that. So this would be quite a little cool thing if you got kids. But yeah, I ain't gonna say no to these chocolate coins. More theming on the wall here. This is very much reminding me of SpongeBob SquarePants. So that little island. Like overall, the room is ginormous. The only thing that I don't particularly like is the wall texture. It looks a bit breeze blocky um, on the camera, but when you see it in person, it does look more like a coarse stone that you'd find on an old fortress. Uh, but yeah, just the size of this room, it's like absolutely massive compared to most other rooms you'd find in a hotel. Socket wise, we have a socket down on either side of the bed. So one here and one down there. Uh, we use USB adapters, so it's quite easy to plug everything in where we need. There's also a socket down behind the, well there's two sockets actually, down behind the um, desk. Nothing around the theme in there. We've got cannon sticking out. Oh, that's loose. Better not touch that. Um, any other sockets that we've missed? 
that appears to be the lot. Overall, very impressed with this room. Like I say, we rocked up super late, which is why I'm having to be really quiet while I film this room tour. Um, can't wait to actually experience the park tomorrow. We have got a park view room um, as it's facing the back of the hotel. However, because it's so dark outside, hold on, let's see if I can go behind the curtain. <laughs> Can't see a lot. We got the roof majority. Like I imagine during the day, you might be able to see Crake and all that. You can see the backdrop of the outside area of the park. Uh, yeah, so excited to get out of here tomorrow. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this room tour. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and any questions you've got about the hotel or any of the amenities in the hotel, leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video. Once again, hit the subscribe button for more theme park content posted weekly, and I'll see you in the next one.